today's episode, we're gonna talk about the Facebook marketing pixel. Sounds complicated, but it really isn't. So put three minutes on the clock. And let's get straight into it. Now, heads up, we're getting a little bit technical here, but I promise you, please pay attention Get this one done, it will pay dividends in the future. We've established how important Facebook is. It's a great platform to target potential customers. And there's a way to make that targeting even more precise and really help you get in front of people that are already aware of your brand that might not yet have got in touch. We do this through the Facebook Pixel. Now, it's a little bit of code. I'm not really expecting you to install it and do this yourself. Whoever's built your website, if you send them this code, and I'll show you how to get to that code in a second, send them this across, they'll install it for you, and then what you can do is start building audiences ready for when you wanna start marketing on Facebook. Now, before we get into it, if you're not ready to start marketing on Facebook, that doesn't matter. You need to get this installed. So if I install it today, I start collecting data from today. If in 12 months time you come in and say, I'm ready to start marketing, and you install it in 12 months, you've missed the opportunity to collect 12 months worth of data. So whether you wanna do it today, in six months or in 12, go and get it installed. So here we are, I'm logged in as myself and we're looking at the Expert Trades Facebook group. Now when you log into Facebook, and please note you can only do this from the desktop, in the top right hand corner, you'll see a drop down arrow. This is how we access your ads manager. So what we're gonna do is go and click this. And just so you know, I personally manage a number of businesses accounts and just for their privacy, I've decided to blur them out for the making of this video. What we're gonna do is move our way down to manage ads. We're gonna hit this button. From here, you'll eventually end up on your campaigns page. Now, if you're not seeing the campaigns page, it means you've never opened your ads manager. You do need to go through that setup. It's very self-explanatory. It just means that you can now access your Facebook pixel. Once you land on this page, in the top corner, we're gonna hit this icon and we're gonna scroll down to pixels. Now what we're looking at is the Facebook pixel that we have for expert trades. You're probably wondering why it's called I Need an Expert. Just a bit of a throwback, that's what we used to be called. We're gonna click in to this pixel here, and this will give us access to actually setting that pixel up. Now in the right-hand corner of this page, we can see the button that says Setup. Head over and press this, and we're gonna be given three options. We have the integration or tag manager, you can install the code yourself or you can email the instructions to a developer. Now, the easiest option of all three is to email the instructions to a developer. And just a quick FYI, if you are using the Expert Trades website package, we do all this for you. So all you need to do here, click this button, put matthewf at experttrades.com, send it across to Matt and he will install that for you. If you're not on the Expert Trades website package, but you have someone else looking after your website, I do advise you use this as an opportunity to get those guys to install it for you. That way you know it will be done correctly. All you need to do is put your developer's email address in this box that shows up here. But for this video, we're gonna show you what the actual code looks like. So we're gonna select this middle option, manually install the code yourself. Now, if you have a developer that has helped you build the website, I strongly recommend that you hit this button down here and email them the instructions. This just means that you can get back to doing what you do best, which is your day job, and let your developer look after adding the code to your website. Now, I fully appreciate this may look technical, but I promise it's 100% worth the time to maximize your success through Facebook advertising. So now you've got the Facebook pixel installed on your website, you're probably thinking, what on earth do I do with this now? I'm not ready to start doing Facebook marketing, but Adam's told me I need to install it, job done. The next thing you need to do is start building custom audiences. These are people that have visited specific parts of your website. Again, sounds really difficult, sounds hard, but in the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna show you how you can do it today. So we're now back in the Ads Manager dashboard. We access this by clicking the drop-down arrow in the top right-hand corner on your profile and clicking Manage Ads. Again, we're gonna to go to the top option where it says Ads Manager, and now we're gonna click into Audiences. Saving audiences on Facebook is the easiest and fastest way to target people that might be interested in your brand, product, or service. There are a couple of different options in terms of the audiences that you save. Again, all of these are blurred out because I manage the accounts of multiple clients and they would not be happy if I was sharing all of their target data. 
What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna go to this top option, which is create an audience. So as you can see, we've got three different options here, custom audience, lookalike audience, or saved audience. Just to quickly run through what they are, a custom audience is one that you can set and target. A lookalike audience is when you found an audience that works for you on Facebook, you can then ask Facebook to find more people that look like those people. Example, if people convert on your website and fill in the contact form, you wanna find more people like this, you can ask Facebook to do that by using the lookalike audience option. Then we've got the saved audience. This is when you can target people based off interest, demographic, Example being, if you knew you wanted to target 35 to 45 year old females that shopped at Waitrose, this is what you can do using saved audiences. For now, we're gonna click into custom audience. Now here you have a number of different options. The top two are the ones that you wanna pay most attention to, your customer file or website traffic. Now your customer file is when you have existing customers in a database that you can upload to Facebook to add them to an audience. Now, this is within GDPR regulations, as long as you've collected that audience in the correct way and had the opt-in from the customer that they are willing to hear about marketing communications. So for the sake of this very short video, we're gonna ignore customer file and just talk about website traffic. So go ahead and click website traffic. So what we're doing with a website traffic custom audience is asking Facebook if someone visits a specific page on my website or my website at all, add them to this audience. By adding that person to the audience, it means you can then remarket to them on Facebook. We all know those adverts that follow you around the internet once you've browsed on Amazon, for example. This is how they're doing it. They're finding a page that you've visited and then showing you adverts relevant to that page later on. It's the most cost-effective way to run your advertising. So let's do a quick example. The first example I wanna quickly make is the all website visitors. So for this, what I'm doing is I wanna track everyone that's been on my website for the past 90 days. I'm then gonna name that audience. It's as simple then as clicking create audience. From this point onwards, Facebook will start tracking people that it knows who they are from their Facebook profile to your website, and then you can remarket to them in the future. If we want to speak to someone that's been to a specific page on our website, we can very easily do that using custom audience. Let me quickly show you how. First thing we need to do is go to the all website visitor dropdown and click the button. And what we're gonna do is click on people who visited a specific website page. If we hit that, you'll then get the option to put a URL. Remember, URL is a fancy word for your website address. Now on another page, we've opened up a Backseat Approved Installers landing page. This is Elements Heating that in their navigation bar have a page for Backseat. Now an example might be Elements Heating Installations might wanna to market to people that have viewed their Backseat Approved Installer page. All we need to do is take that website address by copying from the URL here, going back to Facebook and then pasting that address in here. So what we're telling Facebook is, I want to track the people that have been to this Backseat approved landing page. We can set the time frame and we can track it for up to 180 days. So what this allows you to do as the marketing person within your company is you can then run adverts to people that you know who are interested in a new Backseat boiler. Don't forget to correctly name this audience, otherwise once you've got multiple audience, it gets very confusing. And once you've named the audience, all you need to do is go ahead and click create audience. It's as simple as that. Now the key thing to remember is you can't go back in time and track this data. So what you should do today is stop this video right now and go and create custom audiences relevant to what your website offers. An example might be you want to target people that have hit the new boiler installation page when they've gone through your services or gone to the contact page. Creating custom audiences gives you a huge amount of options when you start running Facebook ads. There's two different options to run Facebook ads. There's a more technical option through Facebook Ads Manager, which is what we're in now, or you can jump into Facebook and very, very quickly boost a post that you want your audience to see. We're gonna be showing you that in a future video. So there you have it, and you probably feel like a bit of a geek and a bit of a whiz right now because you've got a Facebook marketing pixel on your website, you've built custom audiences, and what that allows you to do in the future, or today if you want to, is run ads to people that visited specific pages on your website. And we've all been there, we've all been to Amazon and looked at a pair of shoes, or looked at a new Xbox, and then all of a sudden, that ad follows you around the whole internet. It's effective. People have been to your website. They're interested in the service. They've visited the Baxi install page on your website. You know they're interested in that, so you can send a Baxi ad directly to those people very, very cost-effectively. Any questions at all about this, 
Email baxi at experttrades.com and I'll be more than happy to help. Speak to you soon.